capture inquiry has resumed. There was initially an issue with the audio, but as you can see, uh, Kobus Rulofs uh, is on the stand, and this is law enforcement related testimony. Watch. And they were more inclined to accept that it was, in fact, the fifth as opposed to the fourth. Yes, what you can do with regard to matters where there is a, a judgment that has not been challenged is you can just tell me the important factual findings, um, if there are any legal findings that are relevant, you can just mention them that this is what was found, and then the witness can give evidence only really uh, to put context if it is necessary or to fill in gaps that might not have been dealt with in the judgment because they might not have been relevant so that we don't need to go through the whole thing. But for purposes of making sure that those who are listening understand what's going on, you can in advance just uh, identify the findings of the court that will be, that you will mention to say that these are the findings that were made, that there's, there's no pending appeal and uh, then the witness can fill in terms of context and uh, issues that were not dealt with. No problem, Jay. In I have prepared, but it's really just a, a note from me, which highlights um, certain paragraph, key paragraph references on the findings in both the High Court and the Supreme Court of Appeal in relation to the, these judgments. Yeah, that's, that's With fine. With leave, can I hand it out? That's fine, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it hasn't been paginated or any of sort, but it's just no, a, that's fine, yeah. a reference note. <clears throat> if I can then ask you to turn to In fact, yesterday when we ended, um, you spoke about the memorandum that you became privy to, and that was referred to as the Breitenbach Ferreira Mem Memorandum, dated the 13th of April 2012. Is that right? That's correct, Chair. <coughs> what steps did you then take after receiving this memorandum? Chair, after receiving that memorandum. I'm, I'm just sorry, let's connect properly with where we left off yesterday. Uh, which memorandum, what page is it again? The memorandum is KDR 12, which is at, starts at page 165, and it's referenced in paragraph 158 on page 47 on the, <coughs> in the affidavit itself. Sorry? Sorry, Chi. What paragraph in the affidavit? Um, it's at page 47, mm -hmm. 158. Okay, all right. Yes, okay. And is it correct? Um, I think he was still answering, what did you do after getting this memorandum at page 165? Yes, Chi. Chair, when, uh, when I received the memorandum, uh, and it also coupled with the, with the letter received from uh, Advocate Mkhwebe, which um, dated the 30th of March of 2012, uh, I, I requested General Dramat, uh, General Dramat from my office to write again to Advocate Jiba because the response that we received was not from Advocate Jiba as requested. Uh, and therefore, he, then, he, um, he, did, he did write that request. And, that and I'm sorry, the letter from, or memorandum from Mr. Mkwebe also didn't say that he was writing at the request of or on behalf of Ms. Jiba. He that just is, wrote, yeah. That is correct, Chair. Didn't mm -hmm. say anything. It yeah. wasn't addressed to, the, to, to Advocate Jiba either. And that, that particular letter of response of Ad Advocate Mkhwebe 
as the Chair has alluded, certainly did not indicate any form of response from Advocate Jiba. Is that right? That is correct, Chair. And then what happened during May 2012? I don't know whether May 2012 takes him to where he was before one of us interrupted him. You had asked him to, I think he was talking about asking General Dramat to write to Ms. Jiba again. That uh, is correct, Chair. Yeah, do you want to just f complete that answer? Uh, Chair, that was on the 23rd of April 2012. That's after receiving the, the response from, from Advocate Mahwebe. Uh, I requested General Dramat to write to Advocate Jiba so that we can get a response from her because the, the request was to reconsider uh, the, the, uh, uh, the decision that was taken by Advocate Mahwebe as he was not in a position to review his own decision. And did Advocate Jiba respond? Chair, she did not respond. Uh, well, I'm sorry. Where is the letter that General Dramata wrote to Ms. Jiba? Let's identify that letter first. It's, and what it said. In, it's an exchange. The thrust of the letter, even if you don't read the letter. No problem, Chair. Can we go to page 189, please? Is this the letter that you referred to? That is correct, Chair. And this letter is dated 23 April 2012, written by signature of Lieutenant General Dramat, addressed to Advocate Jiba. That is correct, Chair. And if we look at in the second paragraph, can you please read that into the record? Chair, it states the following. <coughs> Thereafter, I received a response again from Advocate Mkhwebe that the matter is finalized and that he abides by his, by his decision. In the, in the circumstances, I will appreciate a decision on the matter by you as the ultimate authority in respect of the consideration of, the, of a prosecution. Yes, you can continue. Thank you, Chair. Did uh, Ms. Jiba respond to this letter from General Dramat? No, Chair. She, did, she didn't respond. Her office manager responded. Her office manager? That's correct, Chair. And where is the, that response? If I could take you to page, it's Annex just 17, at, pa at page 200. What was the effect? All right. We seem to have lost audio there. There was this bit of an issue throughout the morning with regards to the audio coming from the State Capture Commission. We will try to fix it up and get back there as soon as possible. Um, Corvus Rulof, sir, is currently testifying uh, with regards to uh, law enforcement uh, related testimony. Remember, he did say that Crime Intelligence Unit Secret Service account was abused, allegedly abused, by some senior, uh, the unit senior officials. We bound to hear much more uh, about that uh, in a short while. Let's take a quick break, fix up things. We'll come back as soon as possible. Stay with us.